Hey guys, um, we're going to be doing our soap today. Um, and I know that you guys are learning about the story of Daniel in the lion's den and the story of how um, God used this, this man who really was just a boy. He was in his late teens. Um, how he used his, his faith in God to um, show the king um, how awesome our God is. And the verse that I want us to talk about today is 1 Corinthians 15, 58. And it says, therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. So let's look at that in terms of Daniel. Now, Daniel was someone who um, was pretty high up in um, the king's ranks and um, he was brought to that area with a couple of other people, actually a lot of people, um, in order, um, in order to serve the king. Um, and there were a couple of things, lessons that, um, I hope you guys have gotten from the story of Daniel. Um, the first one is that the faith that sustained Daniel brought him through his trials. Now we could say that right now, us being stuck at home, um, is a trial to some of you. Um, some of you, you're like, yes, we get to stay home and do work. Uh, but some of you, like being home is hard for you. Um, maybe knowing that someone is sick, I don't know. But let's think of it in terms not of the coronavirus and all that that's going on. Let's think of that in just terms of your life. I know some of you feel like you've been thrown to the lion's den. Uh, some of you may not. But eventually, remember, I always tell you, tell you guys, eventually you will face trials. Um, but the faith that sustained Daniel, when God allowed him to go through these trials, it carried him through these trials. Um, God allowed Daniel to get thrown into the lion's den because God had enough faith that Daniel was going to do what Daniel should have done. The second thing the power that delivered Daniel. Daniel was, um, was thrown into a horrible situation. First, he had people that were coming after him that did not like him simply because of his beliefs. How many of you have ever had that happen to you or someone did not like you because of your beliefs? Yeah, I think we all have, or at some point we will, um, especially if you're faithful to God and you're faithful to um, being a Christian. That's not a very popular um, world's view nowadays. Um, people wanted to um, hurt Daniel. People didn't like him. Um, they tried to change rules and adapt rules to make um, Daniel not be able to live up to what he, um, what came out of his mouth. Um, but the power that delivered him, imagine this, you get thrown into a pit where there are hungry lions Anyone who had been thrown in there before were devoured both by those lions. If you've ever seen videos of um, animals or uh, carnivores and predators who are just going out and they catch their meal and they just devour it. That is what the enemies of Daniel were thinking were going to happen. But man, none of that happened. Not even a scratch was put on Daniel. The third thing I want you to think of is the testimony that Daniel had after that. How many people can say that they were thrown into a lion's den and came out alive and the whole reason that happened was because God delivered them from that? Well, I don't know, other than Daniel. But let's think about our lives. How many trials are we going to be going through or have we already been through where we can look at those trials after we've gone through them and say, man, how awesome is our God? Think of the testimony, the story that you get to share with someone someday about how God brought you through something. There is something great and spectacular and amazing um, and powerful about people's testimonies. One day, no matter what you go through, man, if you stay faithful to God and his, his promises, the testimony that you get to share with other people is going to make a difference. So again, our Bible verse, and it'll be written on, um, the, the blog page is 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain.
Remember SOAP, S stands for scripture, write that scripture down. O stands for observation. What is the one thing that you observe in this uh, verse that stands out to you? Your A is application. How can you apply that to your life? And P, I want you to write down a prayer on how you can take that verse, that scripture verse, and hold tightly to it. Um, write it out on a piece of paper, take a picture of it, type it in an email, whatever you need to do, type it in a document and get it to either Mrs. Houchin or myself. Love you guys.